What's up guys? PC Tech Gamer back with another short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one is about one-way platforms. And real simple, a one-way platform is just a platform that you can stand underneath, jump up and land on, and then we're going to also write a script so that way you can fall back down to the main floor or fall to something else below it. So let's start with a empty blank project. I'm over here in 2D. We're going to start with a 2D scene. And we're going to hit enter and we're going to rename this to world. So our world will instantiate all of our other child scenes. I'm going to click command S to save, enter to save it with that name. I'm going to come up and add another scene. Or actually, let's just add an, another node or other node and search for character body 2D. Let's double click that. Let's rename this by selecting it and hitting enter. We're going to rename this to floor. No, I'm sorry, it's a character. We're going to name this to uh, player. All right. And then command S to save, enter to save it. Let's add another scene by clicking the plus button, other node, and search for static body 2D. Double click that, rename it by clicking on it, and rename it to floor. All right, command S, enter to save, plus button one more time, other node, this is going to be another static body 2D. So double click it. Let's rename it. Let's call it platform. Command S to save, enter to save it. So that should be everything we need. We've got a platform, we've got a floor to stand on, and we've got a player. So let's put it, the stuff in the world. Actually, let's build all these out first. I guess that would be helpful, right? So on the player, add a child node and add a collision body. Let's start with a sprite. Sorry, I like to do sprites first. Let's do the sprite 2D and then come back, click on player and the, add a child node and then we'll add the collision. And I do it that way. You can drag and drop if you don't do it in this order, but I like to do it in this order because if you put the sprite first and then you put the collision shape, you can see the collision shape when you reshape it much easier because it's on top of the sprite that way. Let's change the collision shape from empty to new rectangle. And let's click on sprite, take the icon, drag it over to empty. And I apologize, I'm sure people are tired of looking at these stupid icons, but I just feel it's easier for everyone to follow along with this simplistic icon. Nobody has to download anything. We'll get there later on. We're going to do tile maps in a future one, and we'll probably start building games out real soon. So we'll start downloading some more assets, and we'll learn how to use those as well. I just I find it easier to use these uh, just for short tutorials. So enough rambling. Let's get back to what I was doing. I'm making a player. Command S to save that player. Let's work on the floor. So with floor highlighted, add a child node. Let's add a sprite. I'm going to need a sprite. Come to the floor. Add another child node. We're going to need collision again. So collision 2D shape. Give the shape over here from empty to rectangle. Highlight Sprite 2D, drag over the icon to empty. And let's zoom in. And on collision shape, let's just drag this out. So I'm gonna choose from the corner and I'm gonna hold down option on my Mac. And I'm just gonna drag that out nice and symmetrical like that, all right? And that should be it for that. I'm going to Command S to save it. Let's do a platform. Same thing with the platform. Add a child node. I'm going to come over here to Recents, and I'm going to say a 2D Sprite. And drag the icon 
over to texture click on platform add child node we need a collision shape come over to shape empty add new rectangle shape and for this one let's reshape this first so on sprite 2d let's just hold down option Let's shrink this a little bit like that, and then let's just extend it out so it looks like a platform, right? And then now let's readjust our shape the same way. I'm gonna hold Option and stretch this out, something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a demo to figure out how we do these things, okay? Uh, Command S to save, and let's go to the world and Let's throw all of these scenes in there. And let's instantiate them as a child of world. So we're going to use this button here that looks like this little paperclip or link button here and instantiate a child. So click that and start with player. Click open. Go back to world. Click that link again. We'll add the floor. And click that link again and add the platform. Wonderful. So one thing we didn't do is let's go to the floor scene and change the shape of this. Change our sprite. It's going to be option. And let's just stretch this out. As long as we're halfway out from this here to the halfway of our display port here, our viewport, as long as we're over halfway, we should be good. And then let's just click on collision shape and stretch this out. I'm going to hold down option and stretch it. Perfect. Let's just make it a little smaller. Bam. All right. And Command S to save. Let's go back to the world and let's move this stuff around. So with floor highlighted, we're going to grab this floor and we're going to move it to the bottom. All right. That's good. Somehow our platform got to be a child node of the floor. We don't want that. So let's just drag this back up to world. So that way these are all child nodes of the world and not a child, you know, platform should not be a child of floor. Platform should be a child of the world. So click on your platform. Let's move it. Oops, I double clicked. My bad. Okay, so <laughs> grab platform and let's just drag that up. Let's grab player, drag it down under here like that we're gonna have to take the platform a little higher okay there we go did we forget to add a collision shape to the player yeah we did so let's do that i'm sure i'm sure y'all caught that right so hold down option drag one of your points out here perfect change it like that command s to save come back to the world let's just play this out we're going to click Run Scene, and then since we're in World, we want that to be our current scene that runs every time, our main scene. So click Select Current, and we should be able to move. Nope, we can't because we didn't create a script for the player yet, So, but everything looks good so far. Let's create player movement by going to Player and adding a script. So on Player, with it highlighted, come up here and add a script. We want to give it... The basic movement, yes, that makes it easy for us. And then let's run this again. And using our arrow keys, let's see if we can go back and forth. Yep. And you'll notice, see, we cannot jump up underneath this platform. That is not what we're looking for. We're going to need more jump, too, to get up there. So uh, up here in jump velocity in your script, back it up and do 600. Let's run it again. And now we can jump on top of the platform and walk on it. And when we're underneath, we can't jump through it. We can't jump up on top of it unless we go around. Let's change that. So, super easy. Let's go to platform. And to change the platform so that it is a one-way collision, so that way you can jump up from underneath and land on it, all you have to do is go to the collision shape 2d that's on the platform and over here you'll see let me drag this out and open it up you'll see one way collision it's not currently checked let's check that it's really that easy i could have made this video in two seconds but then that would be boring 
and nobody would have fun programming with me. So let's run this. And now if we come underneath it and jump up, look at that. That's a wonderful thing. So I, I don't like the way, see how we're like behind the platform? I think we should be in front of the platform. So come back to world and put the platform behind the player and then run it again. That looks better. So now we're jumping up on the platform and we're not running into it from underneath. That's the functionality I like to see on a platform game. And now, so if you click the down arrow button, nothing happens, right? So you, you can't fall down from here. Let's change that. In our program here, let's just say, let's use function underscore input. Okay, here it is. This is supplied. This is like our physics process and our on ready. This is from Godot. If you double click that, we're going to use this event. This detects all incoming events and you can do something with that. So we're going to take the, let's say if event and we're going to use is action pressed. The down arrow on the keyboard would be an is action pressed event. So is action pressed. The action we want is the UI down. We didn't map any keys. We're just going to use the stuff that comes with Godot. Probably a good idea to come up here to your project settings if you want and go to input and map out your keys. But since this is a short tutorial on how to use one-way collision, I'm not going to bother with all that. And let's just do print for now. I like to use print statements to make sure things are working. So print down. And run your scene. And let's jump up here and then push the arrow down. And over here you can see it's working. Every time we push down we get a down movement or we get a down print statement over here in the console. So let's make this thing do what we want it to do and fall down. And to fall down we want to just change our Y position, position dot Y plus equal one. Okay, super easy. That's all you have to do. Let's see if this works. Let's run it and jump on top and push down. And now we fall down so we can jump up and we can fall down. And remember, zero, zero is here. So if we're coming this way, we're positive. So down is positive. Up is negative, this is Y, and this is X. So by coming simply just down one pixel, it allows us to fall through that platform. All right, and we've got some pretty cool functionality. Short and sweet this time, but I think it's a really cool thing to know about, and I'm going to use it in my games. I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and if you got anything from it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I've also got a Discord community I'm trying to grow. So if you get a chance, check out my Discord, become a member, participate, ask questions, answer questions, and let's get a community going where we can all help each other. Until next time, ciao.